Hello there, Aaron here, and I finally got my summoner vi video done. Uh, tomorrow will be the Black Mage video, and then I'll be done with all the classes that I'm going to do. Uh, I'm not going to be doing the healers. I really don't feel comfortable with doing those. Um, I haven't really played them at all, so... And I really, I really avoid healing as much as possible, so I'm not going to be doing those. But I will be doing the Blue Mage, and I will be doing the... Mass Carnival, so look forward to those. I'm going to do the old ones and the new ones. And I really look forward to doing those and sharing, like, how I completed those, so... But this one's about the summoner, and let's get into it. Uh, while you have Ifrit out, um, his abilities are going to be stronger than your Ruin 2 and Ruin 3, so when you get those, you're going to want to use them pretty much um, over Ruin 3. Um, and Rune 4, I'll get to that later, but there's, um, a situation where you want to use Rune 4 instead of your, um, pet abilities. Uh, Rune 2 should only be used once in the fight, right at the very beginning. After that, you shouldn't have to ever use it again. You'll be either using Rune 4 or Rune 3, or your pet abilities. Always try to summon Bahamut and Phoenix at the end of a global cooldown so you get the maximum amount of time with them getting the double cast in there um basically your cast and the summons cast as well aether pact doesn't really line up with any of your like phases all that well so basically um i'm thinking aether pact is probably just going to be something that you're going to use on cooldown just for an extra five percent boost so with this rotation, I'm going to do the initial opener, which gets to like the beginning of the Bahamut phase. And then after that, I'm just going to pretty much say what you're going to want to do in the next phases. I'm not actually going to tell you exactly how to do them or what abilities you're going to do in what order. That would like, there'd be a list um, two pages long. Uh, for all of that so I'm I'm just gonna say hey this is what you need to do and uh, basically you're gonna want to watch out for these things as well so let's get into the rotation um, precast you weren't you're gonna want to summit summon the the um, summon of your choice um, probably either gonna be Garuda or Ifrit Garuda if you're doing um, AoE and Ifrit if it's a single target um, so if you have a countdown, um, I would precast a Ruin 3, um, beforehand, uh, to go off at about the same time as the pole goes off, and then, um, Ruin 2 immediately afterwards, and that's the only Ruin 2 you should ever have to do. After the Ruin 2, um, I use Tri Disaster, and then immediately go into Dreadworm Triumph to get that on cooldown. Um, after that... Basically use all of your um, Ifrit abilities, um, doesn't matter which ones you use, they all do the same amount of damage. So use one or two, it do, it's not going to matter. Um, but after the first two, or after the first one, I uh, put up Aether Pack to get that extra damage and get the energy drain so I can get those Festers in. Um, after that, another Assault um, from the summon and then I enkindle and fester after that uh, then you get three abilities um, the, the last two assaults and then um, an instant cast ruin three because you're still in dreadworm trance at this point and get a fester in right after that one and then the next ruin three is going to be instant as well because you're still in dreadworm um, but after this one, I Death Flare and then summon Bahamut um, at the end. Um, after that, I use one of my Ruin 4s that I have saved up and enkindle Bahamut along with that one. So now I'm just going to pretty much say what you should do in the phases and um, basically let you guys figure out exactly how you want to set that up. Um, during the Bahamut phase, um, you're going to want to use Rune 4, 
whenever you you're going to use an off global so otherwise you're just going to be straight casting um, ruin threes which isn't bad so um, when your Enkindle Bahamut comes back up it should come back up about the same time you're going to need to reapply your dots so you're basically going to be the next ruin four you're going to do is probably going to be um, with Tri Disaster and another Enkindle. And then not too long after that, you're going to be using another Rune 4 to reapply Energy Drain and getting more Festers in. So after that, you're going to be between phases um, with uh, between Bahamut and Phoenix. And so after that, you're going to want to use your um, pet assault moves to get back as many ru ruin fours as you can. Um, use any off globals um, while you're using the assaults, or if you don't have any assaults up, which you should have a couple up by the end of uh, Bahamut phase, so um, you should be able to use any off globals right then. And otherwise, you're going to be casting ruin three. Then after that, you're gonna be going into the Phoenix phase, which um, when you start the Phoenix, um, I usually use a Ruin 4 if I have one up, or use one of my pet abilities if I have it up, um, so that you have time to cast Phoenix at the end of the cast. You don't wanna um, get uh, summon Phoenix out at the beginning of a GCD. Um, you won't have you won't you'll probably clip one of your GCDs at the end and you'll miss a little bit of DPS so but during the Phoenix phase um, basically you're gonna be using Fountain of Fire and then Brand of Purgatory the abilities that you get um, that switch uh, Ruin 3 from Ruin 3 to uh, Fountain of Fire and then your AoE ability changes to Brand of Purgatory so you're going to be using those two, and those um, are instant casts, so you won't need to worry about off-globals, pretty much. You can use off-globals whenever they're coming back up during Phoenix Phase. So Phoenix Phase is probably one of the easier phases for you. Um, let's see what else. In Kindle, basically when you can, uh, make sure you get in two in Kindles during the Phoenix Phase. Um, and that's pretty much it for that phase. And then we're going to get into the after Phoenix phase, which is the dead part of the rotation. Um, pretty much what you're going to be doing is you're going to be using assaults. And if you're maxed out on your Ruin 4s, use one and then use immediately use an assault afterwards to replenish it. So you, you always want to go into your Dreadworm Trance and Bahamut um, having max ruin fours because you might use all four of them during uh bahamut phase so and that's pretty much it um basically after that you're just going to be doing the same old thing um for your next dreadworm trances like your base dreadworm trance um you don't really need to stay in it all too long you can just pretty much go in if you need to do some off globals you can like use a couple you can use a couple of assaults if you have to, um, or use um, some instant cast ruin threes um, to get your off globals down before you want to go into Bahamut phase if you want to do that. But pretty much, if you want to, you can just pretty much go straight into Dreadworm or um, Bahamut phase um, after you use Death, Death Flare. So that's pretty much it. Um, let me know what you think, and uh, look forward to my Black Mage video tomorrow night. See you guys.